Are you tired of FPS drops and lag ruining your CS2 matches in 2025? This video is exactly what you need. I'm showing you the exact PRO settings that instantly fix stutters, boost your FPS like crazy, and make CS2 run smooth even on low-end PCs. So without wasting any time, let's dive in. Gear Up Booster is a best tool to reduce your ping while playing games. It works with both wired and wireless connections. Download it for free from my description and enjoy smoother gameplay with lower ping. Step 1. Set Windows for Best Performance in CS2 First, click on the Windows search bar and type Adjust the Appearance and Performance of Windows. When you see the result, click on it. This will open the Performance Options window. In this window, choose the option that says Adjust for Best Performance. This will turn off all the extra animations and effects that are not needed and can slow down your system. Doing this gives more power to your computer so CS2 can run faster and smoother. After that, scroll down and check the boxes next to smooth edges of screen fonts and show thumbnails instead of icons. These settings help keep your screen readable and still show image previews and folders. Then click apply to save your settings. Now go to the advanced tab in the same window. Under processor scheduling, make sure the option adjust for best performance of programs is selected. This setting tells Windows to focus on apps like CS2 instead of background stuff. After that, click OK. These changes will help CS2 get more of your computer's power. Step 2. Set CS2 CPU priority using registry tweaks. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. Now open the folder named Counter-Strike 2 Priority. Inside it, you'll see a few files with registry tweaks. These files tell your CPU how important CS2 is, so it can give more attention to the game. If your PC is weak or older, double-click the file called Normal Priority. If you have a medium or average PC, double-click Medium Priority. If your computer is strong and made for gaming, double-click High Priority. Pick the file that matches your system. This will adjust how your CPU works with CS2, making the game smoother and helping to stop stuttering or freezing. Step 3. Use Chris Titus Tech Utility to speed up Windows for CS2. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. To make your computer even faster, use a tool called Chris Titus Tech Utility. This tool can turn off apps and background tasks that waste power. Open the FPS Boost Pack folder. Inside, you'll find a text file. Open it and copy the code that's written inside. Next, go to the Windows search bar and type PowerShell. When it appears, right-click it and choose Run as Administrator. This allows changes to be made to your system. Now paste the code you copied earlier into PowerShell and press Enter. This will open the Chris Titus Tech Utility Program. In the tool, go to the Tweaks tab. You'll see options for performance modes. Minimal. Keeps most features but removes a few background processes. Standard. Turns off more things to boost performance further. Before it makes changes, the tool will create a restore point just in case something goes wrong. Choose the tweak that works best for your system and click Run Tweaks. When it finishes, close the tool. These changes will reduce lag and fix FPS drops in CS2. Step 4. Make CPU run at full speed using Throttle Stop for CS2. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. To make sure your CPU runs at full speed during CS2, Use a tool called Throttle Stop. Go to the Tools folder, then open the Throttle Stop folder and run the throttlestop.exe file. When it opens, you'll see several options like Performance Mode, Game Mode, Internet Mode, and Battery Mode. Select Game Mode and check the box that says High Performance. This setting is best for gaming. You don't need to change any of the other settings like Clock Mode, Set Multiplier, or Speed Shift settings. Just make sure to check the Disable Turbo box. This will help keep your system more stable. Then click Turn on, and then click Save. Keep Throttle Stop open in the background while you play CS2. This way, your CPU always stays at its best speed during the game. In this step, I'm going to show you the best tool to get stable ping while gaming. So first, download the Gear Up Booster tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Fortnite. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game. It will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the Middle East server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now go to the End tab where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let GearUp automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to Automatic for the best results. 
Finally close the window and launch your game using Gear Up Booster. This will help you optimize Fortnite or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. Step 5. Use ISLC to free up RAM for CS2. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. Now let's manage your RAM better by using a program called ISLC, Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. This tool clears up memory that isn't being used, helping CS2 run more smoothly. After downloading and opening ISLC, you'll see how much RAM your system has. Divide that number by two. For example, if it says 16,000 megabytes, enter 8,000. If it says 32,000 megabytes, enter 16,000. Make sure to check these two boxes. Start ISLC minimized launch. ISLC on user logon. These settings make sure ISLC starts every time your PC turns on. Now look at the right side of the window and turn on timer resolution. Set it to 0.5, then set the polling rate to 1000 in NIMS if your system is fast. If your PC is slower, set it to 1000 in NIMS. Now click stop, then click start, and finally click purge standby list. This removes unused RAM and helps CS2 run better with fewer FPS drops. Step six, make your keyboard respond faster in CS2 using filter keys. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. Setter this step helps you remove input lag, which is the delay between pressing a key and the game reacting. Open the program called Filter Keys Setter. You'll see three settings to change. For ignore under, set it to zero milliseconds. This means your key presses will register right away. For repeat delay, set it to 130 milliseconds. This helps avoid accidental key repeats. For repeat rate, set it to 10 milliseconds. This lets you hold down a key and repeat actions fast. After typing in these settings, check the box on the right side to turn them on. Then click OK to save. Now your keyboard will respond faster in CS2, which helps especially in fast moments like shooting or moving. Step 7. Use all your CPU cores for CS2. In the last step, we'll make sure your PC is using all its CPU cores for the best performance in CS2. Press the Windows key and type System Configuration. Click on it when it shows up. In the System Configuration window, go to the Boot tab and click on the Advanced Options button. In the new window, check the box that says Number of Processors. Then, from the drop-down menu, pick the highest number you see. This tells your PC to use every CPU core available. Click OK, then click Apply, and finally click OK again to save the settings. Your CPU is now fully unlocked, and your system will give you better FPS and smoother gameplay in CS2. If this guide helped you, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe for more CS2 and PC tuning videos. Thanks for reading.